it's day one of the reading rush and so far I have been listening to Game of Stars obviously I have a physical book and I had started to read it but I've been busy this morning it's Monday I gotta get a lot of stuff done before I go to work I went and got my nails done so I went with a racing theme because the reading rush you get it? So it's day one. Day one is to draw a character like randomly from a book and then on the Instagram one is to do a book that is like flying. So I'm going to attempt something. Let's do the challenge. Let's pick our character to draw. Uh, since I'm in the middle of Dark Dawn I just decided I'll do God's Grave and you basically have to flip to a random page and the first name you see is the person that you have to draw. This is gonna be hard because these are fantasy characters. So let's see let's see we'll stop here i'll use this page who do i see it's just describing breakfast okay let me try this again i didn't see any names there i turned to the same page do this again so mia mia is the first person that i see right after the line this magnificent little bitch so let's draw mia um Obviously, we got some pretty good photo reference here. There's also some really good ones that I've seen. So let's uh, let's do this. We got 30 seconds. Excuse my house. It kind of a mess right now because we're never home. Um, okay, so we want to do 30 seconds. And I need to draw Mia. Yeah. There's Mia. Now, without that, you know, I would have added some like swords in here. Probably filled in some of this. You know what? But what I should have done is I should have used this big brush. Listen, I don't know what's up with the big lips. <laughs> don't be as a white girl. It just happened. Brian's side, my side. <laughs> Just a bed divided. First, for this, I need to make the bed. So. Step one done. Let's see the best way, sir. No. Yes. Just no. We're not playing. I'm trying to take a picture. Okay, so now I got the book. This is a really old, beat up copy of Harry Potter. So, I'm basically going to attempt to put it at an angle, maybe. And then what I'll do is I'll just superimpose the photos and make them look like they're together. 10 points to whoever knows who's won. It's a big boy. Okay, let's do a quick wrap up of day one. But I read Hexvet and I did this for a challenge to complete in like one place. And I just stood at work and read this. It's only about 80 pages. Um, it was cute. It wasn't anything like amazing. So it's basically teaching responsibility and that's it. I do believe this is going to be a series that definitely left on a little bit of like a cliffhanger. Like you want to know more about these characters. So, um, but it was cute and it took me no time to read. And then I, um, had started emergency contact and 
I got some feelings about this y'all. So uh, within the first 10 minutes the main character or slut shames her mother, her own mother. Um, she basically makes fun of like those popular girls. She says she's at the bottom of the social standing like she she's not even anywhere on it but somehow she has a hot popular boyfriend who she doesn't really like basically she's not that kind of girl and she shames everything kind of basic like 13 pages in and so much so much yikes already so I'm hoping that that turns around I like the writing the writing is not the problem so that was wrap up of day one and I'm gonna do I've done a chart to do all this so I completed one challenge I did the video and the picture challenge so there's that now today is day two they have already announced the Instagram and the video challenge the video challenge is to do truths and a lie and then the Instagram is to do an outfit based on like the cover of a book so I'll probably do those after work I don't really have enough time this morning but I did finish Game of Stars this morning I ended up listening to most of this at least so I really enjoyed it I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one I normally like things that are all about games and this is definitely like she's turned into like a competition but there's not really a lot of that competition happening so that was a little bit of a letdown also I felt like this was a lot of like go around to the main point of what we were trying to do so it was kind of taking us on a wild goose chase but I still really like the writing I like the characters I'm excited for whatever comes next in this world and then I also started the perks to be in a wallflower today I'm listening to the audio of this I'm hopefully hopefully I can get it done within the next day and then I can watch the movie one night but then this I ended up using for reading about a non-human main character because I think that barely anyone in this series is fully human so and I'll do the challenges later and I will update you then Yes, I do my makeup in the dark 99% of the time. And yes, I do some weird shit for the YouTube. My professional uh, wig holder. What a look. What a look. Well, I look like I'm officially joining a cult. So, let's go ahead and uh, put on the outfit. A black, I think hers is kind of sh striped, but... I don't have a striped black shirt, black pants, is this like the weirdest corset of all time, are they all like this, like these weird buttons? That will do. So let's go take some pictures! While I have you here, let's play the video challenge, which is two truths and a lie, and then you guys have to guess, and just wait till tomorrow, I'll have a clip somewhere that tells you whether or not you right or wrong, but go ahead and pause afterwards, put your guess down below, let me know, um, so let's go ahead, let's do, I usually set alarms for Funko Pop releases so that I can get them before anyone else. I may or may not have pre-ordered four copies of Dark Dawn. My favorite Harry Potter character may or may not be Molly Weasley. Take your guess. Turn a bonus one. I may or may not be DNSing emergency contact. Stay tuned. I'm just gonna show you reading. You having a reading date in bed? do film and vlog right now just don't feel like setting up the camera um and also i'm kind of running a little late for work but it's day three of the reading rush why every time i film i get something in my eye every time 
So the challenges today are to bake something or make some sort of food. I'm not good at this, so I'm gonna have to rack my brain while I'm at work today. I'm about to just make it coffee and be like, reader's choice of drink and call it a day, but um, that was way more aggressive than it needed to be. Sorry, Wednesdays are rough for me. So that's the challenge today. The book challenge, or the Instagram challenge, is to show a book of a character that you wanna swap places with, and I'm not really sure. I have an idea of how I want to do that, but it's kind of the same as the picture that I took yesterday, so I think I'm going to stew on that a little bit too. I have a lot of things to get done today. I'm a little behind on, I'm a lot of behind on finishing up my, uh, like banners and stuff for people, so I need to work on that later. I'm about halfway through Perks of Being a Wallflower. I started and I'm about a quarter of the way through I'm Not Going to Die With You Tonight, and it's interesting so far. It's def you can tell it's definitely written by two different uh, people and it is supposed to be about race differences. So one character is African American and one is white. Um, I will say that the difference in writing style is kind of throwing me for a loop a little bit. So I feel like I'm getting a disconnect every time I switch characters, but I'm hoping I'm hoping I get used to it. I am a quarter of the way through though, so sirs. Cats are always fighting. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to listen to Perks Being a Wallflower. Hopefully finish it later. So I'll be done three of the seven challenges. I need to finish at least two challenges today. Maybe I can just stay up late because I want to work till later tomorrow. <laughs> this is always the part of the reading rush where I start freaking out every year. I'm like halfway through it. And I'm like, I haven't read enough. I start out so strong and then I'm just like, Meh. Anyway, how y'all doing? Hope we doing great. I'm gonna try not to panic. I'm gonna go to work. It's story time day. <sighs> Give me strength. I need that coffee. So uh, yeah, I'll be back with some sort of update later. I'm not doing a lot of creative, I guess vlogging throughout the day cause most of the time I'm just at work or I was cleaning and like who wants to see that? None of you all want to see that. Great, great videography skills here with my finger just over the camera. So I got home from work and I have been spending the better part of almost an hour now looking for uh, oven baked clay because the challenge doesn't say that it has to be an edible treat. So I was gonna clay bake something to go with my photo today so now my photo is also on standby because I was going to do Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That's the photo I'm going to do. I got everything set right for the photo except for I need these two props that I plan on baking. I've looked everywhere. I could have sworn I had some baking clay somewhere. I can't find it. I have ripped apart everything. I've been down in the storage, in the basement, in the garage. I've been all through the closet. I don't know what I would have done with it. I guess I'm gonna eat something and just work on the things that I need to get done because I decided I'm going to Zumba tonight. I haven't been in like three weeks. I haven't been to the gym. Let's go Zumba. So. Hello YouTube, I have pinkles. <laughs> some oven clay, some oven baked clay. They only had white, which they used to have an array of colors and they were just like, you know what, let's get this generic massive ass pack and that's what we're dealing with. So I picked this up, I'm gonna try and make my things. I've already lost my daylight, so everything 
is not going according to plan. So, I'm going to finish listening to Perks Being a Wallflower while I do this. And I am home. I'm probably not going to show you the process because I'm not even sure. What the heck? I'm going to do yet. I got no food. Let's just get dirty with this. Oh, God. Oh, this is weird. They're like little, I don't know about like this. Here are my baked treats. This is the Drink Me bottle and then two little Eat Me cookies from Alice in Wonderland. I am having the hardest freaking time taking the picture for this. The lighting is terrible. It's just messing with me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So, I need to turn on my ring light, so I need to plug it in. I'm using it as my tripod. I'm not having the time of my life doing this. I'm not. I'm stressed. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's going to be over soon. Backdrop. I'm just going to throw these in the corners. Little eat me cookie there. too much light it might just work it will have to do no. do it no. do it no do it uh... <laughs> Phoenix don't like it. Biggest dilemma is choosing what mug to use for the day. Like, there's just not enough options. There's, there, these are even like double and triple road. Who do who do I want to be today? sinuses so clogged today so let's do an update i'm finished perks of being a wallflower and i gotta say audiobook oh, look at my toilet <laughs> audiobook is not not really the way to go on that one now i'm just blocking myself like atrocious Maybe it's because the person who reads it is so young, which, you know, is supposed to be. They're supposed to be a high school student. And just something about it just didn't impact me in the same way. I thought the narrator was great. I just, I don't know, it was the first time that I've reread it and haven't cried. But there were different parts that I picked up on that I didn't even remember. This is still happening from a book that I've reread like 14 times. I don't know. I'm also officially, unofficially DNFing emergency contact. Um, remember when I said the writing? I didn't, I liked the writing? <laughs> well, I jinxed myself because it got worse. There's an uncle who's not an uncle. There's like an unplanned pregnancy being like, there's just things in here that just aren't working. I didn't even make it to the 100 page mark. I just can't. I think I'm just gonna skim this, see what happened, see if there's any sexy scenes. I don't even know if there's any sexy scenes, and then just be done with that. I'm really upset because I, I love the cover of that book. I like the general idea of it, but it's just not working. So today's challenges are to show you my reading nooks or reading areas, the places that I read along with my treat of choice, which is normally coffee or tea which I got a new, uh, six pie box. Very excited. Um, hopefully gonna be filming something with that later. Yeah, I do have a full library tour, which is obviously where I do most of my stuff. It's a hot mess in here at any given time, but I am gonna show you specifically the spots that I read in my house. Um, yeah, the only other snack, I don't really like to snack while I'm eating because I'm the person that just drops it 
all over the place but these have been amazing they are these pretzel crisps with dark chocolate drizzle on them mm. right now they are holding my trash so i need some new ones but uh let me show you some of my favorite spots in my house to read spot number one is my couch in my library because it's very comfy um i keep the blanket there at all times because i'm always freezing it doesn't matter how hot i get and one of my favorite spots in my library is this Funko display, which I just picked up some new Funkos. I got the Flocked Fox as well as Rita Skater. So I'm very excited about that. I also picked up a new Voldemort with Nagini, which is up here in the corner. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favorite thing. Now, the reason I put this above this and so... When I sit down, I have a view of my library, which is, you know, also one of my favorite aspects is the ladder, of course. But, and then I have my TBR cart, which I've just been keeping my TB car on, my TB car, my TBR on my ladder. I got some new lights. Woo! And they actually go all the way across, and I went ahead and just nailed them in. Um, so they won't be going anywhere. They are remote operated. The only problem is, is that I have a set on this side and you can't connect them. And actually these, this side is unplugged right now. My second favorite place to read is in my chair. And this is actually where I listen to most of my audiobooks because I sit in the chair and I work on things with all my screens. My next favorite spot is in bed. Our bed is never made and that's okay with both of us. I don't feel any more productive when I make my bed in the morning. If anything, it's just annoying so and time-consuming, and it doesn't really matter because no one here is visiting. No one's visiting here right now. If people are visiting, I'd make it, um, but also because I'm just going to lay in this later and make it more of a mess. Like, this works for me. Me and Brian both agree. This is fine. So, and I usually have whatever I'm reading over here, which I actually have two things over there right now so then my last favorite reading spot is of course the plant room so I also I call this the catio because there's always someone out here hanging out and this is where we keep most of the cat stuff it is a little bit of a mess right now just because Brian just keeps throwing stuff in here even though it's not storage well, I got my fiddly fig doing so beautifully this one not so much um still doing beautifully just not as amazing this rocking chair i pull it out a little bit so it doesn't like smack against the wall and then i just kind of check out check out the plants i need more plants over there but it gets too harsh of light the sunlight hits there pretty directly in the evening so be thirsty too look at these new leaves oh i just i love you this is not a plant tour but i am going to give you a quick overview also, honey, you're doing great. And this one's doing great. Okay, I said this wasn't a plant or it's not a plant. So, plot twist. I just read emergency contact. I just, I was like, I'm DNFing it. I'm gonna skim it. No big deal. And then I just read the whole damn thing. To be fair, I will admit that uh if a part was annoying or did not interest me i just skipped it so there was a part where she's like writing a story about like a robot baby i just skipped those parts because i don't care about that like i was just looking for the cute parts. so where i just wasn't skimming anymore and was just totally reading it so i got the gist of the story there were some parts in this that were really good so I will give it that. There were some yikes moments. Am I going to give it a three even though I technically DNF'd it? But I also technically read it? What? Allie, what are you doing? I'm having a moment. Like, I don't know. I just feel so weird right now. I just, I have to get ready for work. I feel so weird. I also got to take the, the post for the day, but none of my cats will sit still. So I went to margarita night, which is like, it used to be a dollar for a margarita, now it's two dollars for a margarita. 
my taste is like Dawn dish soap, but that's besides the point. So I'm home. It's a little past 10 and I am going to try to finish. Um, uh, I'm not dying with you tonight. I was thinking about it at work all day and y'all are going to just like, there's going to be people in the comments coming at me for like skimming emergency contact, but I really didn't skim that much. So let me just say that there's a lot of side plots going on in emergency contact. For the most part, I read every page. The only parts I really skipped is there's a lot of these weird side subplots that have absolutely nothing to do with anything. Like one, she's writing about a robot baby. I skipped those parts. He's working on some film thing. I skipped it. Why do I have the hiccups? I skip those parts because they don't matter. You literally, you literally get the same storyline without all that. I'm not drunk, I swear I just ate ravioli so quickly that I must have the hiccups now. But all these subplots, they don't make sense. Like the only thing you really care about are Penny and Sam. That's all that really matters. So that's mostly what I was focusing on. I did really like the friendship things. Like they were way more fleshed out than most YA characters tend to be. So that was nice. I don't want people to come at me and be like, oh my god, you skimmed it. How are you going to rate it? How are you going to count it? I'm counting it because I literally skimmed like the bare minimum, just the parts that I knew didn't matter. Like they were just fillers. The main characters were just so pretentious. It was annoying, but they weren't to each other. I love their interactions together, but any other time, so pretentious, not like other girls, slut shaming, just was the worst to everyone. Like, I just, I couldn't get down with any of that. I'm rating it a two stars. That's what I'm giving. I'm giving it a two stars because the relationship was the only good thing going on. The rest of it was terrible. There was all these random weird plot devices, like a weird fake uncle thing and like a baby situation. Like, it was so random and weird and it didn't work, so. <laughs> That's a nice sleep mask you got there. Yeah, it's too tight. That's because you got a big head. Where'd you get that big head from? My mama. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what are these from? Don't know, don't care. I can't see them. All I can see is... What is it from? I don't know. What is it? Luna Lovegood and the Quibbler. Who's that? Harry Potter. Who's Harry? How cute are these? I'm so upset that I can't think of a single thing to put in this. So I ended up going to the store and I picked up some things and I had a whole list that I had to get at the market and didn't get any of it because I'm in the market and I realized I'm supposed to start sprints on the Radiant Rush Twitter in 15 minutes as I'm in the market. So I rushed and got the only thing I could remember, eggs. Yeah, that's that's all I, I got that in double sided tape and that's I have, didn't get anything else on the list. I'm so sweaty. I sat in my car. I couldn't log into the Reading Rush treasure. I was like, Ariel, what do I do? So um, I ended up having to go into like desktop mode before it would let me log in. It was insane, but I had so much fun. Um, I'm not used to getting that many replies so quickly. I felt slightly overwhelmed. I was trying to like everything as best as I could. So like, if I didn't like it, I was trying, I was trying. It was like loading quicker than I could like things. So it was so much fun. I'm just, I was not used to that. I'm used to my, little tiny sprints that get like four people involved. I'm gonna run out to my mom's really quick cause I should have done that at some point and I didn't. And then I'm gonna come back and do some more stuff around the house, so. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. Anytime it comes, I wail. Did I wake you? I'm sorry, did I disturb you? Look at you being so poised and perfect. Your little shaved butt. Oh, what a yawn. So cute. Have I done any reading today? No, not not really. Like five whole pages. Just touring my sprint. Um, I really need to replant this plant back here. I don't know the last time he had new soil. It feels terrible. 
he was my Nana's, and when my Nana and Pap passed away, he was bequeathed to me. His name is Uncle Pete. I don't know why, but this is just one long strand wrapped around these. I hate these. These are hideous, and I just kind of want to dangle them, so I picked up. Now, it is a slightly smaller pot, but Uncle Pete really isn't that big. I think his pot is too big anyway. But I got this little hanging one, so I'm going to hang that from the ceiling and then drape that big long tendril down. I also need to do some cuttings because I think I'm going to give my sister like a little housewarming gift. She's had her house like a whole year longer than me, but um, I want to give her a little housewarming gift and maybe get her cuttings off of this. And then I have cuttings started for my mom, but I'd like to get some more. But he's kind of, I mean, he ain't thick. So he's a scrawny little fella, we'll have to see. I'm I am just living the best life right now, honestly. Look at this. This is one strand. Nana, what was you doing with this one strand? It's day six. Oh, I forgot my painting. Here's my painting. So I read like absolutely nothing yesterday. I started listening to the audiobook The Toll. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. It's not for any challenges. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I don't know. I'm kind of panicking because I have two challenges left. There's two days left. I work today and I'm probably going to go out later or do some things. I don't know. Um, I might do some things tomorrow. I don't know. So I don't know what books to pick. Um, yeah. But yesterday's challenge was to bring some book art to life. So uh, I went to a paint and sip and we actually created these Starry Night inspired photos. This is supposed to be my city. I don't know what's happening. We just, it was good till we got to here. So um, yeah, this is mine that is inspired by that. There is a book called The Van Gogh Brothers. So we'll say it's inspired by that. Also, um, some, some of my favorite covers tend to have, like, the pink and the blues and the purples on it, which is weird because those are not, I don't like those colors normally, but for some reason I love those on book covers, so this is my book art that I made. What am I doing with this now? I don't know. I'm going to sign it and it, sell it. Anyway, I probably look a hot mess. I don't even know what I look like this morning. I didn't even look. The video challenge today, which I'll probably do later after work, is, is to make your name out of book titles. I can't decide yet. I think I'm going to do a hardback quarter instead of just Allie or Allison. Too easy. I like a challenge. But the photo challenge is to, which I was actually featured on the Reading Rush photo challenge as a runner-up for yesterday's photo challenge, which was to show your reading fuel. And, you know, I was like, you know, let's get sappy. I don't have one just reading fuel. There's all these other things that go into it. And I was like, maybe they'll notice me. I put in so much effort on all the other photos. And I don't know. But they finally... Mentioned me as a runner-up. My Instagram challenge today, I think I have an idea. It's to show books that aren't set in the in your country. Um, I live in the U.S., obviously, since I got that Southern accent. But they said bonus points if it's not the U.S. or the U.K. So I'm going to see. I don't really know what books that I have. I know I have a decent amount of books that I do believe are set in China or around China or Asia? That's all. Is that really all I got? South America? Are there any books set in South America that I have? I don't know. I don't... Most of them are set in fantasy worlds, so they're not technically in the US or UK. Does that count? I don't think that's the point. I think we're trying to do diverse books, but... I don't really pay attention to these things when I read books. I can never remember anyway, so...
not even all of them. I own three times as many globes as the normal person should. So earlier, we were like, we're just gonna stop the liquor store and just pick up like a like a six pack, you know, casually. We left with like a whole month's worth of alcohol because we are just those people. Also, there was a deal. How do you not? How do you pass up a deal on alcohol? You don't. You don't. We're going back. Yeah. But now we're headed to the bar where we had to pay for more beer. <laughs> it is day seven, the last day of the reading rush. Today is normally my filming day. I have not been in the mood to film. I got out of the the routine. I also don't really know what to film. Currently I have a lot of ideas, but a lot of them are going to take months at a time. I also didn't do the challenge for yesterday, so I'm going to do that now. And uh, what else? What else? What else? I got to do the challenge today, which is to just tell you guys about my favorite book recommendation. And then um, I already did the photo challenge. I just pulled some weeds and just threw them in a crown. I was outside reading for a little bit, so yeah. Basically, you have two minutes in order to spell out your name. I'm going to make it a little harder, and I'm going to do hardback quarter, and I prefer cool tones. If you guys, uh, I mean, with my thumbnails, you don't really notice, but I do think I'm going to be focusing more on using cool tones in my thumbnails more, and those just being the themes. So I think I'm going to focus on blue, and I'm going to spell out hardback quarter in two minutes. Now, most of my books are probably going to be over here. I can't, I don't have enough range for my camera to see all that. All right, I need an H, and I already know where my first H is going to come from. It's going to be Harry Potter. So we got Harry Potter. Uh, um, I'm going to count the, oops, the Assassin's Blade. Uh, uh, R, I need an R, I need an R. The Rose and the Dagger, we'll count it. Uh, I need a D. Oh, that's going to be hard. I feel like I don't have anything with a D. Oh, the Disenchantments. B, 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 B. No, I'm not seeing any Bs. B, B, B. Is B that hard? There's no Bs? Wow. Two minutes was not long at all. I barely spelled out. I got hard. I heard it after I said it. Um, so H A R D. This seems so fitting for my channel. Um, so Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. H the Assassin's Blade as A. We got the Rose and the Dagger as R, and the Disenchantments as D. And then I had picked up the Ask and the Answer for another A for back, but uh, baby got no back here. Hey, so sorry you're going to hear the air conditioners in the background. It's too hot to turn them off, but I do want to do a little walkthrough of my planner and what it has looked like for the reading rush. So, I'm on Sunday. I haven't really done anything with it yet today. I've just filled in the challenges and that's it. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit about what's going on. So over here, this is a Clever Fox planner. Just excuse that piece of tape on the front but I usually try to so normally there's these let me go to like one of these front ones there's these spaces on the side that are for certain things and they don't always work for what I need so I tend to cover those up with things that I do want to use it for I did this top part I covered all this with washi different washies and then I put the logo here because I didn't really need these which are top like priority lists like the reading rush is my top priority this week so then I decided to put all my badges as I earn them through here and they are just put on with uh, tape or some washing stuff and then I found this cool book design just on Google so I just cut that out and did the colors um, what I associate the reading rush with and then I have my habit tracker over here with uh, audio 
if I read a physical book. This tends to stay the same actually every week so that wasn't too much of a difference. And then down here um, these were numbered and I just colored those in and kind of covered that and wrote down books that I had said I wanted to read. Obviously I was not reading all these but I wanted all the titles down anyway and then I highlighted them as I read them. Side. So there's the badges and all that in the books and then over here um, I just wrote down some of the things that I was doing. I was writing down the video challenge and the Instagram challenge and then I would highlight it if I did it. Um, this I actually made a mistake and I just covered that up with a sticker and then I just kept messing up the spread. I just couldn't help myself down some other things and then all that. And then the weekend I haven't filled out yet. I will go back through because we didn't have plans yesterday but we ended up doing some stuff. So I'll probably write that down and then today I've done absolutely nothing. So. Oh my tea. The next part is to talk about my favorite recommendation of all time. This is hard because I don't remember a lot of recommendations. They wanted something that was like life changing. I've already talked about books that were kind of life changing or books that I would want to keep um, if something ever happened to my books because they have like an extra special meaning to me. I already did a whole video on that. <laughs> Twilight um, and that is because this was essential to my reading career. So I've always been a reader. I was reading growing up. I was big into going to the library. I was always at the school library. The book fair was like my favorite event of the year. So I've always been a reader but when I got into middle school I wasn't reading as much and the things that I was reading were probably not good. Um, and I just wasn't reading as much and I feel like I was definitely falling out of love with reading because that's a weird age group. You can't really identify with middle grade that much anymore and you don't really understand a lot that's going on in my yet yet. So it was a really strange age group. There wasn't a lot that I knew what to pick up and I don't know if these were necessarily a recommendation as I remember my friend at this time, Sierra, she was my best friend. Um, I'm very thankful that I had her in my life because she was a big part of my reading career as well. She was a big reader. I'm assuming that she still is. Uh, we've since lost touch. But I remember her talking about these and I don't remember if she had told me to read them or let me borrow them or if we had agreed to just read them kind of deal. We ended up going to like the midnight releases together and stuff like that. And we ended up reading them around the same time and I became obsessed with this series. I was in love with this. I was at the beach. I stayed inside the whole time I was at the beach reading this dang on book and then we drove around town. It was like a little nobody place beach and they didn't even have like they had a used bookstore and they didn't have the new release at the time. So I was so disappointed that I had to wait till we got back home so I could read the next one. This was before like ebooks were a thing. I'm very thankful that I have Twilight in my life as well. That it came to me at the perfect time when this was just like a great mixture of like fun and seriousness. It wasn't over the top raunchy like it was just great I was all about the supernatural when I needed an escape in life like this was what I needed at that time and I'm glad that I had a friend who was willing to read it with me I'm just so many good things about this maybe not necessarily about the book I also don't think I would ever reread it just because I'm terrified of what I would feel now and I just don't want those memories spoiled you know what I mean now let's is this recording Let's talk about the actual update that I have for you guys. I have two challenges left um, to read a cover that has purple on it, which originally I was going to read um, The Art of Breaking, uh, The Smell of Other People's Houses, but at this point, because we are in the last hours of the readathon, I do believe I'm going to be reading The Advent Guards. Um, it's a graphic novel. I do believe it's middle grade, and it's uh, about a team, I guess. So I think I'm going to try to read this. I'll probably read this closer to bedtime. Um, and I am, I'm not even quite halfway through Thunderhead, but I am determined. This is so, so good. Why did I put this off for so long? I don't even understand. Like this is another level of genius. Neil Shusterman, what the hell is going on in your head? I need to know. This is just a whole nother level. I don't even think this could be classified as YA because there's just things that are like beyond my comprehension and like how is it Neil Shusterman just running the world at this point? Make Thunderhead, make it happen. I'm down. Sounds amazing. Um, so I'm super invested in this. I actually didn't really want to film because I want to just keep reading this. I do have to keep taking breaks. 
but on Ajax is just looking so cute right now. I just gotta. The cuteness is killing me. Oh, it's just so cute. So I'm probably gonna go get in my, like, my PJs. I might make some tea. I might do just a tea spill from bed with my wig on. Because I don't feel like taking it off now. I did too much with the makeup because I was, I didn't know what else to do with myself today. I wanted to go swimming and no one else wanted to go swimming with me. I wore my bathing suit for half the day. I still have my bottoms on. I wish Books and Lala was my friend because I would just go swimming with her all the time. Like, I just want to go lay by the pool all the time. And no one ever wants to go with me. And no one invites me over. And just, like, friends with pools. I want to come hang out. I don't like getting my hair wet, but I will still hang out. Challenges when I've done all the things. I'm so excited. This has been, like, the closest I've come to, like, winning in a long time uh actually doing all the challenges i don't think i've ever done all the challenges i even did all the photo challenges i have been featured twice but will i ever win <laughs> probably not i cannot believe i've been featured twice and still have not won i wonder if they won't choose me because i'm like a booktuber does that make sense why wouldn't they do that wouldn't most of the people participating in me book 